And I'm back with Derek Tutenfo, a master chocolatier, maître chocolatier, uh, who's here today to talk with us more about wine and chocolate, especially for Valentine's Day, since it's just around the corner. But of course, wine and chocolate, uh, there's so many days of the year that we can do that anyway. Derek, what are your favorite tips? What do you think about when you're pairing wine with chocolate? Uh, first of all, we need to know what kind of chocolate we're buying. As if we're going to buy a solid chocolate or we're going to buy a chocolate with, with a feeling. Uh, that's a two dimension uh, with tasting. Um, usually, you know chocolate that have a bit of acidity and fruitiness in a solid chocolate. And sometimes they have a smokiness, spiciness. And so this kind of thing, we have to go and choose the, the wine which is more a little bit fruity, less acid. If it's too acid, just like we're talking about a Pinot Gris, those are quite acid in, uh, in the taste, so will not compromise, will not give the com complement to the chocolate. Okay. On the so other it, hand... Go ahead, yes. Yes, on the other hand, if you're choosing chocolate with feeling, uh, let's say you have a raspberry ganache, let's say you have a lavender ganache, uh, let's say you're going to have apricot ganache, those, then you have to go with something a little bit, again, uh, fruity aperitif uh, wine or dessert wine is going to go very, very well. It uh, doesn't mean for me wine and chocolate is all to your taste. The most important is the experience. They don't have a such thing as the bad uh, uh, pairing. They have a such thing as experience and do enjoy the experience and you discover the wine you like Absolutely. and the chocolate you love. <laughs> Good attitude. Uh, so if we've got something like a filling with a raspberry filling, would you veer more toward a, a sweeter wine with that, like a, a port or whatever? What, what, would you, what types of wines would you pair up with chocolate that has that kind of a filling? Yeah, raspberry, blackberry, this kind of berry, I would like to go with the white port. Uh, oh. I find out in the red port is the, it's a little bit more, uh, how can you say that, uh, more acid, more strong than the white port. Okay. Um, August Camina is going very well with all the fruity wine. Really? Yeah. And even a Gewürztraminer mm. that is dry, you still think it will work well with the, those chocolates? Yes, I do, because it's more sweeter, yeah. Okay, so yeah, an off-dry wine or very mm -hmm. aromatic. And then back to the first type of chocolate you mentioned, the one without filling that perhaps has more high acidity, maybe mm -hmm. less sweetness. What are you looking for there in terms of a wine? Um, you know, if it's go with the dark chocolate, I would probably go with a couple of different red, you know, or even some white is go very well if you're going to choose a milk chocolate. Uh, in the white, the, the Moscato is go very well. Moscato. And, and for yeah. a red, would you go with a dry red, an off-dry, sweet red? Uh, I would go with the dry, the dry red and the sweet red go very nice too. Okay, um, okay. Yeah. Great. And, and now let's talk about chocolate specifically. When it comes to Valentine's Day, um, do you think there are particular types of chocolate that make it more special versus the chocolate you would bring out at Easter or uh, at any other sort of special occasion? Um, you know, I think the presentation is very important for Valentine's. Um, we're talking about love and uh, we're talking about sharing. So I would think more than the presentation, then the chocolate have it inside. When the presentation is beautiful, when the, the way and the way you're going to present it to your lover. Uh, or your friend, everything is very important. Um, for sure, we have to start with the heart, the roses, shape. This is very important. Okay, and so you've got um, something there today that's all about presentation, a, a chocolate creation of yours. If you want to uh, show us that first one and hold it up and, and tell us what it is. Yes, this is a box, a chocolate box. Okay. With, uh, it's a 100% shell. The shell is made with dark chocolate. And uh, inside, we filled it up with all the little pudding. As that means a little truffle with filling, and uh, you have for any kind of taste. Do you and want to hold up some like, of those that are in there? Yeah. What, yes. Uh, <laughs> you know, what have you got there? We have uh, this one. Uh, this one is what they call the Bernard. It's the classic. We do have the Mano, which is, is the buttercream. Uh, then we have absolutely, we cannot forget the little hearts, it's the <laughs> raspberry hearts uh, over here, and uh, many more. So okay. I have three different sizes, and you can check it online or you can come into our store and check them out. Awesome. Yeah. Way to get in the sales pitch there, too. <laughs> yeah, uh, what, what else do you have there, Derek? And I do have something a little bit more special for 
you know, uh, for a gentleman who tried to uh, propose when oh. this is coming to velvet, hard box, and again it's filled with chocolate. And uh, with this kind of hard box, and uh, absolutely don't forget the ring if you propose for Valentine's. We just make it uh, more special. Okay, with the velvet heart, and then it's filled with little chocolates as well. Absolutely. <laughs> okay, and you also have a, a rosemary infusion uh, tablet there of chocolate? That's correct. Um, this it is. So basically, this one uh, we created uh, last year for last October, and I won the silver medal for the International Chocolate Award, and over 600 uh, um, participants for that competition is worldwide. And thyme and rosemary is always represented peaceful. And if you look at little research, uh, can be also uh, aphrodisia. Uh, you know, really, that's rosemary in yes. particular is an aphrodisiac. Yes, that's what they say. Wow. <laughs> so, uh, we'll so I just call it that. exactly. And basically, what is particular, the interesting of this bot is, I bring it over. The new trend. When I'm talking about new trend, we know everyone pairing chocolate with wine, everyone pairing chocolate with whiskey, cognac, scotch, etc. But this bar is very fun. Is we're gonna pair it with cheese. All the soft cheese, a brie, camembert. You can have a good gouda, a sweet cheese, a soft mild cheddar, and again, it's go with prosciutto or the cumin. That means you are talking about prosciutto, you're talking about salami, uh, make sure you cut it very thin. So basically you have a chocolate wrapped into a prosciutto with the cheese and you taste them uh, at it. And for sure you can go with the very uh, uh, fruit wine, because uh, mm -hmm. also is wonderful for it. So basically we bring it the new trend of tasting wow. chocolate. Well, wow. and why do you think rosemary and chocolate go well together? Other than the fact, of course, they're both, I guess, aphrodisiacs. But why do those flavors work together? Why do those flavors work together? Rosemary is very aromatic, and as you see, I chose it in the milk chocolate. And the sweetness, the aromatic, go in sweetness. They cut it back. And the most important, we also have a little habanero sea salt to put it uh, underneath of it. And the kick of the habanero, habanero sea salt. The cake, the spicy, going very well with the herbs and the milk chocolate. So habanero, a chili? You've got a, a spiciness That's correct. in there? Oh, That's correct. Okay. It's the sea salt infuse it with habanero. Oh, sea salt, habanero. Okay, mm -hmm. great. Yeah, that, that would be a, a great interplay of, of flavors. And so if you're just having that bar with the rosemary, which wine would you go with? Um, with rosemary? Yes. Yeah, I will. Yeah, I will go with the rosemary. Yeah. Oh, I mean, which wine? Um, is it which wine? Okay, the wine? which one? Okay, uh, I will go with the Lillet. I don't know. Ah, uh, Lillet. Yes. Now that's an aperitif uh, wine from Bordeaux, mm -hmm. and it's made from traditional uh, white wine grapes of Bordeaux, uh, Semillon and Sauvignon Blanc. But it's seventeen percent alcohol because it has been Absolutely. fortified. Why did you choose that one? I would choose that one because, it's, as you see, we're pairing with cheese, we're pairing with porchuro, so it can be the appetizer also. So it's going to go very well with it. And uh, as we're talking about Lillet, they have some orange flavor, flagon, flower, and sweetness. So it's going to be matching with the spicy nut, the herb, herbs, and also the chocolate. Right. Mm -hmm. You know, this is a lot like... Um uh, food and wine pairing, so chicken can be done a, a hundred different ways, and it's mo mostly about mm -hmm. what it's the sauce is, and this is kind of what you're you're doing with the chocolate. Is it infused? Does it have flavor? And that's what's going to really mm -hmm. determine the wine. So I've got um, I I keep uh, perhaps it's just cliche, but I love a tawny port, and that mm -hmm. I've got uh, well a coffee a single like cojita. This is what I've got. Now, do you think tawny port works well with uh, certain kinds of chocolates? Tawny port works very well with um, all the chocolate with uh, raspberry, blackberry. Uh, okay. I do have or raisin, or golden raisin is going very well also. Mm -hmm. That's good. Yeah, if we think about desserts, where there'd mm -hmm. be a raspberry swirl through the chocolate, mm -hmm. that would be the flavor. A Absolutely, or something a little bit more spicy. Like uh, 
like uh, I will say, um, not only spicy, but uh, some bacon chocolate. Add a lot of people nowadays to heard about it, the bacon chocolate with the bacon some sea chocolate. Salt. Yes. Really, they're yes. infusing bacon in the chocolate. They do infuse it, and some they have bacon bits in the chocolate, <laughs> and uh, we are working on devel uh, developing <coughs> a new one too. Wow. Under the light of bacon, uh, we're going to try to do some uh, savory. Um, so we're talking about bacon, we're talking about olive, we're talking about uh, you know uh, um, beef jerky, and all those kind of things. So we're going to bring it up. I would like to bring it up something, uh, be the leader of the industry, to right. be an uh, adventure in what we're tasting and what we do. Because as you know, even in uh, cooking, some chef now are using dark chocolate sauce going with the duck. Some they use chocolate with pork. So why not? We can combine that now on the dessert side, dessert and savory. Savory, yeah. No, that's that's fascinating. I, I, I would save the beef jerky, though, on Valentine's Day. Probably wouldn't do that one. No, but <laughs> no. Father's Day is going to be perfect. Going with, Father's a Day. Go with uh, whiskey. <laughs> wow, you do have a chocolate for every special day of the year. Absolutely. Um, so tell me a little bit more uh, before we wrap up here, Derek, about some of the things um, your company is doing. You've just opened a new store here, uh, here in Ottawa, uh, but you've got stores across Canada, or at least your chocolates are in stores across Canada. But tell me wh where folks can get them. Um, to in the in the east, they can get it from our Ottawa store. We do have a store in London, and we do also have a store in Oakville. Uh, in Ontario, and then you can have a store in Saskatoon. We have store in Calgary, uh, Winnipeg, uh, up to the to the, the 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 west side, which is uh, Vancouver. And they're uh, called Coco. Uh, the stores they, are called Coco. Coco. Yeah. Coco. Uh, Bernard Calbo. Chocolate okay. tree Bernard Calbo and Coco. Okay. And uh, we also have store in U.S. Yes. Oh, okay. And uh, they can order them online from your site as well. Is that true? Uh, Absolutely. They okay, can great. The order online anytime. Okay. Well, I'll put I'll note that on the blog post too because I'm sure people would love to try some of these exotic chocolates that mm -hmm. perhaps they they may not be able to find locally. Um, and uh, <laughs> one last question: Is it true that Oprah is a fan of your chocolate? Yes, it does. Uh, she came to visit uh, Calgary in January 22nd. Uh, just uh, passed a uh, couple weeks ago, and we basically we did have a little box prepare for Oprah, and she tweeted for and you know she has 60 million of fans follow it, so everyone was loving it. And uh, the most important is she loved the chocolate. Oh, did That's she have a particular key. favorite type? Did she mention one type in particular? Oh no, she just say it's amazing, the amazing <laughs> with the three A. So uh, sorry, four A. So you know how amazing it is. Yeah. And, uh, and because of that, <laughs> exactly the way she and is. And because of that, now we create the chocolate for Oprah. The selection oh. we give it for Oprah, and now we create in the box of. Mm, uh, box uh, of is it, oh, is it? <laughs> have you done Oprah's face? Or are you doing something special? Uh, or is it just called the Oprah chocolate box kind of thing? No, we're going to call it uh, Fate, Hope, and Charity. And basically for this is the limited edition only for Cal Calgarian. Um, we try to control it because we partnership with uh, Uville. Uville basically is the resident recovery resident for women. So uh, we sell it. But go online and check that. Uh, go under www.cocochocolatetears.com or www.bernardcalvo.com and you have all the information and the most important is all the sales, not the profit, all the sales we donated to Uville uh, oh, Society. So yes. everything, all the cash goes to everything. this charity. That's admirable. That's correct, That's correct. Wow. and that is the deal right now because the box usually we sell for $25 and uh, we did it for 15 and everything can be go to uh, Uville. That's terrific, Derek. Well, mm -hmm. you know, it's been a pleasure talking to you. It's a, a sweet treat, but also uh, it's great to hear the innovation that you're bringing to the, the chocolate industry and also the good work you're doing. So uh, take care, and let's talk again soon. Cheers. Cheers. Okay. Thank you. Thank you for inviting me.